Attention! McCarthy Math Academy proudly presents the Math FSA Boot Camp Series. Hello everyone, I'm Miss McCarthy and I am so excited that you are here. are more than a test score. We don't want you stressing out about this test. We just want you to activate your greatness within. And you might be saying, But Miss McCarthy, listen, I know that math is your jam, but math and I, yeah, we're not really the best of friends. You may have struggled in the past, and you know what? Good. Struggle is necessary because struggle makes us stronger. If we go over something in these videos that you're like, hmm, that skill didn't quite click yet, I'm gonna send you to more videos to help you practice. Your teachers and I, we can expose you to all kinds of tools and strategies, but you have to choose to use them. You have to choose to own them. Imagine opening up that test and feeling so excited to throw down your best. This can be your reality. So now is the time that you need to activate the person you were born to be and let's do this! Are you ready to throw 100% focus, hustle, and heart into this right now? Yeah! That's what I'm talking about, yes! Okay, let's go ahead and jump on into today's episode of the Math FSA Bootcamp Series. And <laughs> I just forgot to say, uh, let me teach ya! What is happening fourth grade? Welcome to the Math FSA Bootcamp Series. This is video number 24. I'm hoping that you have your worksheet that you need for today. And if you're thinking, oh, there's a worksheet that goes with this, there is a worksheet. If you click the link below or somewhere around this video, it'll take you to my website where you can download the worksheet that you need for this episode along with the other lessons in this series. So now that you have your worksheet, go ahead and pause this video and try to solve number one and number two on your own. I want you to throw down your best as if these two questions happen to be on the test and then come on back to check your work and collect any helpful strategies that you can all right i will see you momentarily welcome back fourth grade all right let's go ahead and see how you did so the very first thing that you know that i like to do is identify the question type i'm seeing six answer choices so what kind of question is this it is a multi-select, yes, meaning that there should be more than one correct answer. And we'll go through all of them just to make sure. Okay, let's read it, mark up our text and make sure it makes sense. The circle is made up of four equal parts. Okay, I'm seeing circle is made up of four equal parts, this circle right there. However, I don't see the four parts yet. So what I'm gonna do is actually break it into the rest of the parts. It's made up of four equal parts and now we've got it. One part is shaded in. Select all, that means we're gonna take a look at all or try all the statements, which are down here, that are true or correct. Let's take a look at our answer choices to see what kind of information that we need to identify. So I'm looking at A and B, and they both talk about the angle measure being a certain degree, 60 degrees or 90 degrees. And there's something that I know about a circle. A circle is made up of how many degrees? Yeah, 360 degrees. And this circle is divided into how many equal parts? One, two, three, four. So if we divide 360 degrees divided by four, that would be 90 because nine times four is 36 and 9D would be that multiple of 10 that we need. So that means that each angle or the angle measure here that we're considering would be 90 degrees. If this were broken into five parts, you would divide by five. If this were broken into six equal parts, you would divide by six to get your answer. So it's not A, but does B work? Yeah, it sure does. And another name for a 90 degree angle would be what kind of angle? A right angle. Cool beans. All right. The next two, C and D, they're talking about angle turns. The angle turns through one fourth of the circle 
or through three-fourths of the circle. When they're talking about an angle turn, they're talking about this part right here. How much does the angle turn? Is it going all the way around? No, it's only one-fourth of a turn. Three-fourths is, is the other part that's not being considered right now, so one-fourth would be correct. And finally, E and F, they are talking about the fractional value of the angle. So the fraction of the circle is 60 out of 360 or 90 out of 360 of the circles, or 60 360ths or 90 360ths is the other way to say it. Well, we identified already that the angle measure was 90 degrees and that's 90 degrees out of 360 degrees. So it would be F. So B, C, and F are your correct answers. Go ahead and make any adjustments that you need to make and then join me for number two. Number two, let's identify the question type. If you've been watching this series for a while, you know that I love when I see rows and I see columns because that means it's my favorite type of question, the matching item. Let's read it and solve it. It says match each angle. Those are down there with the correct value, which are represented over here. So I'm seeing values of less than 90 degrees, exactly 90 degrees or greater than 90 degrees. So less than 90 degrees is another name for an acute angle. An acute is so cute like a little baby. An acute angle is less than 90. And then we have a right angle you see is a square corner or 90 degrees. And, yo dude, I'm obtuse. I'm wider than a right with my arms open wide ready for the best hug you've ever had in your life. That's another geometry song of mine that is in the works and it is on McCarthy Math 155, which I will show you how to get there later, okay? So hang on, I'm looking at this angle right there and I can't really tell what type of angle it is. So I need to investigate this. One second. And on the FSA, you should have some kind of a scratch paper to write on, a booklet, maybe your maybe your FSA reference sheet, and it has a square corner right there, right? So you can use the square corner. Watch how I do this, okay? I'm gonna line, pick a side, I'm gonna line this side up of my paper with the angle. And if it fits in perfectly, that means that it is a right angle. And check this out, guys. Look, it fits perfectly. I wish I had it, but I'm gonna do, I'm gonna color this little tip, that way you can see it. So I've colored my tip, that way you can see where it starts and ends and all that. All right, and if I put this tip right in here, look, it fits perfectly, which means it's what kind of angle? a right angle. Even though it was twisted, it didn't trick me because I know that I have a square corner and you should have a square corner of some kind available to you on the FSA. You should totally use it if you if you need to identify if the angle is a square corner or not. Or in fancy vocabulary, if the angle is a right angle, right? Okay. We're going to use the same square corner to identify what kind of angle this is. So I'm going to line up my side right there. And look, do you see how it opens up wider? It extends past the other side. So it's wider than a right, which means it's obtuse. Yo, dude, I'm obtuse. And now we have this last one, and I'm pretty sure this is acute, but I wanna make a point by proving it. So I'm gonna twist my paper around. I'm going to line it up right here. All right, and do you see, here, I can even do it this way. Well, you can see that it's underneath. If I line up my side of the paper right here, right, you can see that the other ray of that angle is underneath my paper, right? It means that it's less than 90 degrees or acute. An acute is so cute like a little baby. An acute angle is less than 90 degrees. Bubble it in. All right, so there's your answers for number two. And you might wanna put a note down here that just says corner of paper strategy. <laughs> okay, all right, now let me go ahead and point you in the direction of some more helpful videos to practice the same skills that you learned in this video. 
All right, fourth graders. So if you know that you need some more practice with angles, with questions that involve this skill or identifying types of angles, I want you to check out McCarthy Math 155 Unit 14. You should see a link below or somewhere around this video that'll take you to where you can sign up for your free trial of McCarthy Math 155. And you're probably thinking, what does the 155 stand for? It stands for 155 jam-packed, high-energy video lessons just for you. Basically, it's an episode for almost every day of the school year. Teachers and schools and districts are using this as their math intervention program, and even parents are using it at home. If you enjoyed this video, I really recommend that you check out McCarthy Math 155. It's totally free for seven days. I'll check on you and make sure that you're able to sign in and everything okay. And if you feel like it's the right fit for you, you can become a member. And just so you know, teachers, if you become a member, this is something that you can share with your students and I walk you through how to do that in the tutorials tab. So definitely check out McCarthy Math 155. You're gonna love it. The next link that I'd love for you to pay attention to is to the How to Pass the Math FSA series, covering the same standard that we worked on in this video. The How to Pass the Math FSA series was my very first series that I created on YouTube, back when the FSA was a computer-based test. Well, now it's a paper-based test, so the problems, they can look a little bit different in the How to Pass series. Still, it's standards-based, the questions can still help you out, provides great practice, and I highly recommend that you check that out as well. So check out that link below. Hello. I'd love for you to follow me on one of my social media platforms. I'm on Instagram and Facebook at McCarthy Math Academy. You can also find me on YouTube at McCarthy Math Academy. In fact, if you happen to be watching this on YouTube, could you go ahead and tap that like button for me? Thank you so much because when you do that, you are supporting my mission because y'all, there are so many students out there who struggle with math and they really want the help. And that's why I'm on a mission to make math fun, make it click and make it stick for as many students as possible. So when you do smash that like button, you're changing somebody's life and that is amazing. So thank you. While you're at it, go ahead and subscribe. That way you're the first to know when I drop a new video. And finally, before we go, I just want you you to know that you were created for a purpose. That's right. You are the generation that we've been waiting for. So find your light and shine it bright. Watch out world because we have a whole new generation of world changers who are getting ready to step it up and make this world a better place. When you have the choice, choose kindness and you always have that choice. And I cannot wait to see you, 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 you on the next episode. Bye.